Hey Earth Sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. I thought it'd be fun to do a mid-month update to see if we can get any guidance and clarity for you around love life. Um, so what I did was I'm doing a different spread and I pulled some cards for you already just to save time on camera. I'm going to do the spread on camera. Um, these cards here are talking about the overall energy between you and your person, what's going on right now. And these cards are talking about what needs to shift either in your energy, in the state of your relationship, or between the two of you in order for you to, to come more into alignment with each other. In honor of the full moon in Pisces that we're in right now, I thought I would do a water-themed mermaid deck. I'm going to use this deck for clarifiers um, in the extended, and at the end of your mini reading here, I'm also gonna show you what decks I'm gonna pull from in the extended and what we're gonna look at, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's pull your spread real quick before I move to um, your oracles so that we can get the overall energy for you. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Love and romance with their person of interest. Please keep in mind that these messages, they're fluid and timeless. So just because they're a mid-month update for September doesn't mean that they're only good for that time. And this is for anybody, whether you are single dating, single dating, uh, committed, partnered, married, whatever relationship means for you. Spirit, what's coming in for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo with their love interest? We need four cards, please. The overall energy between them, how Earth sign sees their person, how their person sees Earth sign, and the outcome. What's coming in for earth signs all the way around, please, with their person? Overall energy, how they see each other, and the outcome. A couple more shuffles here. Okay, last one, and we'll split the deck earth sign. Here we go. The overall energy between you two is the Emperor. Oh boy. How you see your person or sign is the Justice card. How they see you is the Three of Wands. And the outcome between the two of you is the Eight of Wands. That's very positive. The bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Swords. So there may not be a lot of communication right now. Um, between the two of you, there could be some waiting going on here, waiting for communication, needing to balance the scales, needing to heal something that happened between the two of you before. This can also be talking about keeping an eye on each other, uh, whether you're, you know, whether it's mutual or this is, you know, the spying card. So your person of interest could be watching you, um, checking up on you, whatever it is, however they're doing it. Um, especially for those of you that are in separation from your person. King of Wands, somebody's watching and waiting because they really want to take action in your direction, but there's a self-imposed prison going on here. Um, so whether this is you or whether this is them, somebody's not sure if they should make a move. Oh my God. You've got the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, you can't even make this stuff up. Whoa. Look at this Six of Wands wanting to be victorious. Oh, the Tower, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Cups. Wow, Ursine, there was really a blow up, an ending. Um, something happened before, but look at this energy here. Page of Wands watching, waiting because they want to take action towards you. Now, again, the energy could be flipped where Earth Sign is doing this to the person for you cross watchers. But they are in a self-imposed prison right now because they are so in their head over this situation because of the ending that happened before between you or also a fear of things ending for good now. Um, so look at this. This is major, major, major. Why am I having a hard time saying it? mercurial energy mercurial right mercury in their head lots of thoughts back and forth mental torture and anguish sleepless nights a lot of anxiety here um they can also be worried for those of you if you're dealing with somebody who wronged you because this is a card of betrayal uh, they could be very worried about coming back in your direction because, um, look, justice, this is how you see them. So justice may need to happen here. You could be waiting. They see you as the three of wands, waiting for them to return 
and make good on what happened or apologize or have a conversation or own their part in things or whatever. But your person, uh, you know, for the majority of you, your person on the bottom of the deck is the one who is definitely laying low, waiting and watching you because they want to make a move. But there is a lot of fear here. This can also be tremendous fear that earth sign is going to reject them if they do come back around. And maybe because for some of you, somebody really messed up here. Now, again, that can go vice versa for those of you, um, that uh, you know that are cross watching and this this is your earth sign on the bottom of the deck now I find this interesting I think somebody was absolutely very egotistical or in their ego before you've got the six of wands in the tower something came down it came crashing down and went boom okay because this person uh, somebody between the two of you was arrogant bravado facade you know trying to be bigger than they are trying to act like something that they're not or whatever and you know they were it's like a peacock you know fluffing their feathers right walking around strutting their stuff like they're mr. or miss important but they're really not an earth sign might have called him out on it and it caused a tower moment because this person again look at huge ego here ego 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 all the way around five of swords is big time ego it's one upmanship it's jealousy it's revenge it's i'm going to get mine i don't care about anybody else it's all about my needs right and you know just it's like the um uh um what, what was i going to say like the little man syndrome or whatever <laughs> those of you in the US who know what who knows what that means but you know what i'm trying to say an earth sign really wasn't impressed by that and so something came crashing down between you, okay? And now this person has been in a world of mental hurt and anguish ever since about approaching you again. Because again, you walked away as the empress. You walked away, this situation, this connection, the way it was before wasn't serving you. You want uh, your emperor right here or a king. And so as the empress and vice versa for those for those guys watching you want your queen or your empress, right? You are the empress energy emperor You're moving on and so um, and, and it happened after this fallout. So I find that very very interesting Okay Oh, wow. Um, seven minutes in. This is only supposed to be like a 10 minute reading. So let's get through the rest of this really quick, okay? Because I'm trying to keep these short. What I found very interesting, um, you know, the overall energy between you is bound. Look at that card. Oh my goodness. Ascending and separation. So this could have a couple of different scenarios, but the overall energy here is bound. Somebody could be bound to something from the past. Maybe you met this person, they were still in another situation, relationship, marriage, whatever. They're bound to responsibilities or duties, okay? Um, and so, you know, you cross their path in order to help them ascend. There was a, a breakdown between the two of you causing a separation. And so therefore you're both have had to move on and kind of heal yourselves in this separation. This can also be talking about you're bound to each other on a soul level. You crossed each other's path in order to help each other ascend higher in this life, in this go around, because you've been with each other before in previous lives. You're clearing out some old energy between you in previous lives, situations, cycles that are coming full circle that need to need to end. Maybe you came came together, you know, in order to separate so that you can heal parts of you in order to come back together to uh, be better together than apart in this life. Now, because this energy was so heavy for the earth signs, I asked spirit to clarify this. I won't do this in every reading. It depends on what comes out. I thought, oh my gosh, you've got to give us some insight on this. What is going on? The, these cards fell out. They literally flew out of the deck. This is twin flame energy that earth sign has, the majority of you anyway, it won't resonate for everyone with this person of interest needing to surrender to the twin flame energies. You're mirroring each other, you're part of each other's soul, you're, you're helping each other heal, you are reflecting back to each other your shortcomings and anything else that needs to heal between you, within you as one, um, so that you can stand in integrity in this life and fulfill your mission, your purpose, your, your heart's desires, your soul's path, your calling, right? 
communication absolutely is going to be happening between you and recognition so this blew up and fell apart especially with this energy on the bottom of the deck um, so that you could heal each other you're going to be coming back you're going to be surrendering to each other you're going to be surrendering to this connection before you know there was a lot of baggage here on both sides mentally emotionally physically psychologically spiritually financially in the 3d world baggage between each other baggage in your own lives baggage with other people that you carried into this connection you came together in order to really drop all this bondage drop all of this heartache and ascend higher into you know more of the spiritual self uh, of you right into into your spiritual self um dropping the ego uh, that ego this five of swords i don't know it's all on the bottom of the deck you know what i'm trying to say shattering all of that and it's like the phoenix rising up out of the ashes and so that's why the twin flame has the fire around them surrendering to this surrendering to the healing and the changes that need to take place within each of you so that you can come back together recognize each other as the yin and the yang the masculine and the feminine as the two souls that are going to come together and create one right that's what the twin flame um, and the soulmate journey is all about not completing each other all of that kind of stuff that's a little bit codependent yeah there's gonna be feelings of that but you two have done the work while you've been in separation you have surrendered to the healing that has needed to take place within each of you you are different people now than when you knew each other before so it depends which earth sign you are and how long you've been in separation from your person some of you it's days weeks months or even years right and so whatever it is, it doesn't matter the amount of time. There has been personal changes within each of you um, because you've let go of the bondage of the ego, of the heartache, of the victim mentality, of all of that stuff. And you've allowed yourself to surrender to this. And as a result of that, communication is going to happen. I'm so pleased to see this because again, these cards here are really heavy. And yeah, even though the ascending card is really positive, this doesn't happen without a lot of pain, a lot of struggle. And so I wanted to clarify this for the earth signs to give you some hope because it's like, yeah, you know, when I come out the other side of this, <laughs> out the other side of the storm, out the other side of the dark tunnel, when I start walking in the light, all that kind of stuff, yeah, it's going to be great and wonderful and it's going to be worth it. But also there's got to be some payoff spirit you got to give me something here right and so that's why i needed to clarify communication is coming in recognition is coming in this is also talking about union um, so either you are going to have communication in order to heal this some of you will come back to communicate to heal this and go on your separate ways others of you will come back to communicate to be friends to stay in each other's lives and others of you will come into full-on union where you're going to be life partners lovers soulmates um, each other's better half etc so this is very positive so hang on or sign because it looks like all the pain all the heartache um, all the back and forth the ghosting the miscommunication the bent feelings um, kicking up dust from previous lives between you has all been not done in vain as long as both of you are doing the work so that you can come back together to not only close out the old cycle but to heal this so that you both can ascend higher right and not leave an open gaping wound for the rest of your lives only to carry it forward in the next life so that's very positive energy now what needs to shift here uh, between you two individually on one side or the other i'll let you figure out where that where that lies for you is definite reflection basically asking yourself why them they're asking themselves why um, this is all about reflecting on self. What was my part in things? Why did I act that way? Why did I react that way? Why did I get so hurt? Um, why does this a person affect me the way that they do when other people don't? Really looking into the deeper meaning of things and understanding the true connection with this person, understanding the trigger points and what's really going on between you in the bigger picture so that you can let go of all of the lower vibrational minutia and come back together in the here and now breathing right breathing together in a state of peace abundance and prosperity in your higher self okay here and now letting go of the past coming together and just starting from this moment in time 
right? Let's look forward. Yes, we need to talk about what happened. Yes, we need to understand why. Yes, we need to get on the same page with communication and recognizing each other, recognizing each other's feelings, each other's wounds, each other's points of view and honoring that. And then let's put that to rest. Start in the here and now and walk forward together breathing in this moment in a state of peace in a state of meditation in a state of love so there's huge shift big time and energetically going on here for earth signs with their person and again the problem is is free will you could be doing all this work some of you are dealing with somebody who doesn't want anything to do with this they're going to stay in the shadow side of their ego and they're going to stay bound to all of their toxicity and their addictions and there's nothing you can do about it at some point you're going to have to move forward without them but there is absolute potential here if both of you are doing the work and wanting to come back together you've got a very beautiful outcome the overall energy between the two of you is the emperor which is interesting because we had the empress on the bottom of the deck here once we get rid of all this ego stuff and allow the the death of ego to come and go and get out of our heads and the self limiting beliefs and the victim mentality and whatever emperor will find his empress and this is power couple this is movers and shakers this is coming together and really rocking it in this world you'll elevate each other in every way possible in the physical reality including the spiritual path whatever it is that you're meant to do together and you know again coming together this way is better together than apart because the emperor and the empress are meant to uh be in union and so is um the king and queen of pentacles because uh, they're the married couple in, in the deck right but especially the emperor and the empress this is the divine feminine the divine masculine this is the soulmate connection this is the divine counterpart so that's very interesting also what could be going on with this with some of you the emperor could be uh, dealing with somebody who is very controlling my way or the highway so we'll definitely clarify this in the extended what is going on with this emperor are they breaking down their wall are they humbling themselves or is this person going to come back in with the same ego the same bravado and try to call all the shots and, and absolutely not compromise with you the way that a relationship is meant to be giving and receiving ebb and flow this is dictatorship authoritarian right so um so that could be uh, going on for some of you so it's again it depends we'll we'll clarify but either either some of you you're fine you're coming back into union uh the way in balance the way that it should be others of you are dealing with somebody who's still very controlling okay so we'll figure out what that is this is how you see the person um earth sign some of you could be de dealing with a Libra. You don't have to be. Um, but you're seeing this person either as they need to come back and right a wrong with you, apologize, own their stuff, stand there, you know, and, and be, a, be, an, a, be an adult and say, I messed up and I've been doing a lot of reflection. This is my why. Let's sit down and talk about it. I didn't mean to treat you that way. You know, I, I'm, I'm an idiot, right? It, I never meant to hurt you. I was dealing with my own baggage. Whatever it is that they need to say in order to show you that they are, um, you know, uh, acknowledging and uh, acknowledging their part in things and standing in their power and, and, and willing to apologize, okay? This can also be some of you are dealing with somebody who's going through a divorce or some other legal matters. How they see you is the three of wands so this is interesting they either see you as waiting for this justice to take place you you're waiting for this stuff to get healed so that you guys can come back together or they see you as somebody who's very successful you've moved on without them while you've been in separation they've been stuck in their own stuff you're like whatever it's up to you if you want to stay down there i'm not coming in the pit with you i'm going to continue to ascend and there you have because now you have made all the decisions you've put in the work you have created abundance and prosperity you're waiting for your ships to come in okay um and you're looking off on the horizon to bigger you know bigger opportunities brighter days uh etc and it's sad that it's not going to include this person but again, this person has to put in the work and effort in order to meet you so that you two can be on the same path walking down hand in hand. You know, it takes two to tango. Effort needs to be put in here. And so 
because this person needs to be bringing the justice, needs to be reaching out to you to have this communication, needs to be acknowledging their part in things and recognizing you, the hurt they caused, the pain, um, the destruction, the betrayal, whatever it is, or vice versa, okay, because it does go both ways. Until this happens, Earth sign is not engaging. And so therefore, Earth sign is just going to focus on you know, their, their new beginning, their path in life, their abundance, their prosperity, their coin, their whatever, okay? Um, and so there's a part of earth sign that is still waiting to hear, but earth sign isn't putting their life on hold either. And so that's what this person needs to know because they, they can see that you're moving on without them and they can feel that, you know, they've got to let go of control here and give a little bit. They can't, they can't be stuck in this, in this stubborn, egotistical energy um, because it's going to get them nowhere with you and they're going to miss out on a wonderful opportunity um, with this soulmate connection the eight of wands here is the outcome so this is very positive earth sign because this is showing lots of communication lots of action so quick messages text messages email phone call video chat um, wanting to get together, uh, you know, darts of love, as, as they say with this, lots of love messages, sharing of feelings, really um, expressing what happened, wanting to come clean about things, wanting to be in the here and now with you, wanting to make things happen. So um, this is very positive outcome. And again, this is why they're on the bottom of the deck waiting and watching waiting watching wondering when should i make a move you know the problem is if they continue to wait and continue to wait and continue to wait for the perfect time the right time their whole life will pass them by because earth sign is busy moving and shaking and this person doesn't even know probably half the things that earth sign is up to in their life so it's like this person might think they have time but they don't <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because if they don't take action, Earth sign is going to be eight of wands, whoosh, in a new direction with their life. They're going to be sending out darts of love, darts of communication, darts of, um, uh, um, what was I going to say, um, collaboration. You know what I mean? Lots of lots of communication and earth sign life in new and various directions. So, you know, things are, are changing here. Um, earth sign is focused on the here and now. Earth sign is in their breath. Earth sign is looking towards the future. They don't want to be tied up in this toxicity of the past. Your person earth sign doesn't want to either. They want to fix things with you. But the question is, can they get out of their head? Eight of swords, nine of swords, self-imposed prison. They're keeping themselves stuck in this bondage and they're trying to figure out how to break free. All right, what we're gonna do is we are going to move on to the extended. I'm gonna um, uh, clarify, <laughs> clarify with this deck. We're also gonna pull cards from the Twin Flame Shadows. I wanna see for you what um, is, is the obstacles here? What is causing the delay? Um, in this union or reunion, what is causing this person to be bound, what is causing um, you know them to drag their feet, whatever it is, or vice versa. We're going to figure out and see what emotions are at play and what is hidden behind the scenes that you don't know about. And also the twin flame messages. What is it that they really want to say to you that they haven't said to you? We're also going to get some romance angels uh, guidance for you moving forward. Earth sign, I hope this has helped. If you'd like to join me in the extended and get all the extra information, that link is provided below. I hope you're having um, a good month. We'll see you back here next month and we'll see some of you on the other side. Bye.